For reasons that utterly escape everyone involved, you're listening to a bipolar, a schizophrenic, and a podcast. Here are your hosts, Gabe Howard and Michelle Hammer. Happy New Year, everyone. Well, almost. New Year's Eve is tonight. Or if you're listening to this like on January 5th, uh, New Year's Eve was a week ago, but for Michelle and I, we are going to celebrate New Year's Eve in America in less than 12 hours. Oh yeah, and you're listening to a bipolar, a schizophrenic, and a podcast. I'm Gabe, I'm bipolar. And I'm Michelle, I'm schizophrenic. And Michelle is from New York City, so her New Year's Eve plans are just infinitely better than mine. Michelle, are you going to go to Times Square and watch the ball drop? Absolutely not. Have you not ever a done it? Never have, never will. Wow. So even though the entire country is watching this thing and it's like a half an hour from your house, you're just avoiding the whole thing? You have to get there before six o'clock. Oh, so you're already you've already missed it. Yeah. You've already missed it. The but you've never been, even though you've New York your entire life. Correct. Why what would I want to stand Christmas outside tree? in the freezing cold, squished? Have you ever been to the Rockefeller Christmas tree? I've seen it. So you're Jewish and you've gone to the Christmas tree, but you're an American in New York and you've never seen the ball drop. The only time I've been to the Christmas tree was with I was with my friend from New Zealand who was visiting and she said she wanted to see the tree. Gotcha. So if I come to New York, you'll go to Times Square to watch the ball drop because I will be visiting. No, it's too cold. Oh, you should make a New Year's resolution to go out in the cold. Just because you weigh 90 pounds doesn't mean that you have to freeze. They have excellent technology and coats. Get me a heated coat. Get you a heated coat? Get me a heated coat. (laughs) Yeah. I'm going to buy you a coat, set it on fire, and put it on you. Great idea, Gabby. Yeah, that's exactly what you should do. Light a coat on fire. Yeah. In Times Square. (laughs) Great, Great plan there. Like, yeah. I didn't say it was a great plan. Just set a coat on fire in the middle of Times Square (laughs) on New Year's. You're not going to cause any ruckus. Oh, that's funny. Michelle, what are your New Year's resolutions? Now, we took some time with this. We we didn't just, we, we like planned this out. We thought long and hard about New Year's resolutions. And we came up with our own New Year's resolutions. And then we each came up with a New Year's resolution for each other. Oh, we did. Oh, I mean, I came up with several for you, but I, I came up limited. with a few. few yeah, I, I, you know what? I can think of a few yeah, for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. You one. don't even know. You don't even know. One. We, uh, um, you get one. Mm, no, mm, you get one. Mm, you get one. Mm, you get one. Mm, you get one. Mm. What is your first New Year's resolution, Michelle? Our resolutions that we decided on are kind of to improve our mental health in a way. What resolution could we do that will improve our mental health in some sort of way? Well, here's a resolution I have for myself. I will not sleep, but definitely get up at 10 a.m. in the morning. That one's a lie. Oh, wait, we're not we're not playing two truths and a lie. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought we were playing two truths and a that lie. That is my resolution. That is my resolution. That, that one's the lie. I want that. to. <laughs> it's my resolution. I love that you like, you don't believe in my resolution, Gabe. No, no I don't. <laughs> this is not this was, that was not meant to be funny. That was not a joke. I can't believe it. You know what? What is your resolution? I wish it, I'm going to res- say my hair doesn't b- grow red. And I'm going to be like, that's a lie. Actually, I could meet mm-hmm. that resolution mm-hmm. because since I started working with you, I mm-hmm. have a lot of white and gray hair growing in. You sound like one of those old people now. I am one of those old people now. Well, I don't like that you don't like my resolution. I didn't say that I didn't like your resolution. It is an excellent resolution. I just said it was a lie. <laughs> But it's a resolution. It's not a lie that it's a resolution. Will it happen? There is some psychological research on achieving resolutions. So step one is to have a New Year's resolution. Your resolution is to get up by 10 a.m. every day. Step two is to have a plan for how you plan to achieve it. So we've established step one. What is your plan for achieving this resolution, Michelle? You see, I haven't come up with that yet. I was going to set some alarms and then remember my New Year's resolution. Do you remember when I showed you that subscription service that will call you until you wake up? It's like $24 a month, and it will literally just keep calling you until you recite the alphabet. 
That would have been a really nice Hanukkah gift. I don't. We don't exchange for Hanukkah or Christmas. Why would I get you a gift? Because of Judah Maccabee. Judah Maccabee. Yeah. What's that? Torah character. I'd like to inform our listeners that we had an attempt to make a joke, but it really just kind of came out anti-Semitic, and we apologize. <laughs> Moving right along, Michelle, so you don't have a plan, but you have a hope. What you have is, 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 is a wish. You wish that you could wake up by 10 a.m., but without a plan, you are likely to fail at this. Uh, yeah, I guess. Now, do you want to fail? Is this just something that you're saying on the podcast? Like, hey, I want to get up by 10 because I'm going to be a better person. Or is it? Is this an actual goal of yours? I really want to get up at 10. I know that you really want to get up at 10 and I really want to lose weight. But my plan so far is to eat as many cupcakes as I can and hope the weight magically drops off. My New Year's resolution this year is not to lose weight. You know why? Because I have no plan. I'm never going to lose the weight. I'm just a fat ass and I've accepted it. Also, have you seen the pictures of us together? There is no way I can lose enough weight to not look ridiculous. I am six foot three and you are five foot two. That's Even if I lost a hundred pounds, two. I would still look ridiculous standing next to you. So I've just given up. I've just given up. I'm going to get fatter. I don't think that's the way you should look at it. You're saying you, you could never achieve the perfect body. So you should just get fatter. No, I'm saying that standing next to Michelle Hammer in all of our publicity photos, I'm always going to look fat and ridiculous because you're so compact and tiny. Also, you're pretty and I am not. So I, I think that rather than look like the guy who's trying to look good standing next to the attractive young woman, I should just be the ugly guy. I'm Basically, I'm Steve Buscemi. I'm just trying to Steve Buscemi this. He didn't try to be handsome. He just steered right into the ugly. You know... So what is your resolution? My resolution, and I think that you will appreciate this resolution, is to be more understanding of all the deadlines that you miss because you overslept. <laughs> my plan to achieve this is to raise all of my medications to a higher level and to practice radical acceptance. I accept that you suck. That is is the stupidest resolution I've ever heard. What would be an example of a good resolution? I'm going to start getting up at 10 with no plan, even though I never have in 30 years on this planet. Listen, you think you know, but you have no idea. That actually brings us to another psychological trick to help keep New Year's resolutions, and that is consequences, consequences for action. It sort of works on the swear jar basis. So if you swear, you put a dollar in the jar, what is the consequence if you break your New Year's resolution? So if you sleep past 10, what punishment are you going to impose on yourself? What are they called? Flagellists? Flagellists? You're going to fart? <laughs> I... What? <laughs> the people that whip themselves. I just saw it on TV the other day. You so know if... what the witches... So the if witches? you sleep past 10, <laughs> like you are going to beat yourself. <laughs> What's that called when you beat yourself with a whip or something? Schizophrenia. <laughs> <laughs> you need to be reasonable in your consequence. Otherwise, you won't follow it. Like in the swear jar, you have to put in a dollar. A dollar will be like, oh, my God, I got to put in a dollar. There's the act of putting it in front of like your peers. So Why you do people do swear jars? Like What's so wrong about swearing? Can we talk about that? You didn't like my New Year's resolution, but like yours sucks. So I don't really understand. Give me a real resolution. My real resolution this year is not to make any resolutions. That's dumb. That's true. My honest to goodness New Year's resolution is because that of the would same have to yours. be last year's resolution. I didn't make any last year for this very reason. I am so tired at failing because then, uh, you know, that that's the thing. If you're not going to keep your resolution, don't beat yourself up. And I think this is important, especially for our community to understand. It's called a measurable goal. Gabe. Well, it's one, it is called a measurable goal. But two, if you're not going to do it, like, for example, let's use the, the, the everybody's favorite New Year's resolution is weight loss. If you have no plan to actually lose weight or be healthier, 
year, don't make the resolution because now you're not going to lose weight and you're going to beat yourself up for failing. So instead of having one problem, which is that you're overweight, you now have two problems that you're an overweight failure. So it's better just not to make the resolution. But sincerely, my honest resolution this year is to get up earlier as well. Now, I I can't get up at 10 o'clock, but I've noticed that I am more productive if I get up earlier. You know, my wife gets up at 5 a.m. That's that she cray. Yeah, she she's she straight up cray. I'm bipolar. She's nuts. Yeah, it works. She I'm schizophrenic. I don't wake up at five. Yeah. She cray. But I would like to get up by six thirty. You cray. <laughs> I just I I do think that I'm more productive in the morning. As the day drains on, I, I get less and less productive. So that tells me that I would probably accomplish more if I got up earlier. But it is difficult because you are more of a well, you don't get up till noon most days. But I stay up late. Yeah, but you don't work late. It's not like you get a lot of work done overnight and I wake up in the morning to it. This is true. Just out of curiosity, can one of your New Year's resolutions be to have work hours? I don't care what they are. Your work hours can be midnight to eight. But right now your work hours are... Eh. <sighs> My work hours are flexible. Yeah. Another word for flexible is I don't know when to work, so I don't. Um, then how is this podcast playing for these people right now who are listening? Because I did all the work. No, you didn't. You're not even here. Um, you did not upload this. I have a Casio synthesizer with all of Michelle's catchphrases in it, and I just, I just press them. That's not even funny because you never know what I'm going to say. Yeah, that was B flat. No, it was not. That was C. Uh, D E F G. Want to yeah. know what P says? Dicks a poppin'. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that plan we had where we were going to record you like apologizing? Like, you're right, Gabe. I shouldn't have done that. We're just going to record them all and give them to our producer so that anytime there was a podcast where like you were just unrepentantly awful, <laughs> we would just, you know, you're just like, I beat up a guy and I kicked him. Do you feel bad about it? And then we just insert, yes, I feel bad. I should not have done that. <laughs> That would have been a phenomenal... Can we do that? Record some right now. I'm really sorry, Gabe. It was the wrong thing to do. Mm, yes. I really deserved to be fired that time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I shouldn't have yelled at that person. Mm. Maybe throw one in for your mom. My mom was right and I was mean to her. Good, good, good. Maybe another one now. She's really good at cooking. (laughs) That's it? That's the only thing you can say about your mom? Maybe one of your New Year's resolutions should be to be nicer to your mother. Perhaps. Maybe maybe I need to be a little more um, understanding. Do you have a plan to be more understanding? Well, you just told me this right now, Gabe, so I didn't come up with a plan within three seconds. So that's a no. I just don't think you're prepared. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to let you go. Pause right there. We have to hear from our sponsor. PsychCentral.com is the Internet's largest and oldest independent mental health online resource. Since 1995, our completely free, award-winning website has been run by mental health professionals offering reliable, trusted information, as well as over 250 support groups to people living with mental illness. From professional articles to personal stories, psychcentral.com is worth your time checking out and is the generous sponsor of this podcast. This episode is sponsored by BetterHelp.com. Secure, convenient, and affordable online counseling. All counselors are licensed, accredited professionals. Anything you share is confidential. Schedule secure video or phone sessions, plus chat and text with your therapist whenever you feel it's needed. A month of online therapy often costs less than a single traditional face-to-face session. Go to betterhelp.com forward slash psych central and experience seven days of free therapy to see if online counseling is right for you. Betterhelp.com forward slash psych central. We're back. Just listen to this more and keep going. <laughs> your your resolutions should be to stop drinking soda. Soda? What's wrong with soda? Um, uh, Google it. Okay, so before we continue along this, remember, we each get one New Year's resolution for the other person. Is this what you want your New Year's resolution for Gabe Howard to be? Yes. So you want the New Year's resolution for me to be to stop drinking Diet Coke. 
all soda. Because then you would just be like, oh, I'm going to have Diet Pepsi. No, that would never happen. <laughs> <laughs> that would totally not happen, but fine. You want me to give up Diet Coke, Diet Pepsi, Diet anything, all soda. If it has fizzy bubbles, it's out. You can have seltzer. Oh, I can just drink straight up seltzer water. Like Pellegrino too. Oh, okay. oh you, you think I'm your dead grandpa? <laughs> Is that what happened here? Am I Al? Did Al drink seltzer? He did, didn't he? I don't even know. I, I don't guarantee even, he's, I, he's got it. He, I know he did. I'm not really sure. I don't know. We could ask Blanche. Blanche, did Al drink seltzer? No. No? Well, <laughs> I guess I was wrong. Okay. So now if you made a plan for me to stop drinking Diet Coke, what would it be? Because cold turkey is never going to work. I'm not going to stop drinking Diet Coke cold turkey. Smaller increments okay, per so day. If you, if, how many glasses of Diet Coke do you drink a day? So they, they, come in, they come in 30 ounces mm-hmm. and I drink 30 a day. Just down by one every day. So in a month, I, so, so 29, 28, 27. So, so roughly in February, I would be down to zero. Yes. Now, what should I drink when I go out? Like when I go to the movies and I order popcorn, what should I drink with the popcorn? Water. Okay. Is anybody in the history of time ever had popcorn and, and water? I have. No, you haven't. Yes, I have. You lie. Not lying, I have. Aren't you drinking a soda right now? Doesn't matter. This is not my New Year's resolution. What's next to my soda is my water. Yeah, but I'm drinking a water next to my soda as well. But you, how many sodas have you had today? Today? Yeah. It, well, I mean, it's early, so seven. How many have I had? I, I don't know. I don't This would be around. number one. Me, 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 me. Mm. But this actually illustrates a really good point, and I think it's worth discussing. Your New Year's resolution for me is unattainable. It is absolutely unattainable. I am never going to completely 100% give up Diet Coke. It, it, it's not a realistic goal. But as you have pointed out, and as you are correct, and I will admit to the audience, and you can, you can frame this on your wall, Michelle Hammer is correct. I drink an unhealthy amount of diet soda. It, it is, it is, she, she is right. But you would be better off saying, you know, Gabe, why do you get up in the morning and go drink Diet Coke? Maybe you should just limit your Diet Coke intake to the movies or as a special treat a few times a week or maybe when you go out to dinner. Don't you think that would have been like much more reasonable and maybe more attainable for me to achieve? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Those are better ideas. Yeah, but since you didn't come up with them, you're going to have to wait until the end of next year to offer this, assuming that we haven't gotten canceled. Okay. Fair enough. Okay, so now here is my New Year's resolution for you. Mm -hmm. I want you to stop vaping. Okay. Completely. How do you, how do I go about doing this? You stop. How? Well, are you addicted to vaping? Yeah. Wait, I thought that the advantage of vaping was that it was non-addictive. No, it's that it's not smoke. But it's still addictive? Yeah, there's nicotine in it. So you're still taking nicotine, sucking it into your lungs and breathing it out, and that's supposed to be healthier for you? Um, it's not. They don't know how the uh, long-term effects entirely, but it's supposed to be healthier because it's not smoke entering your lungs. I love how they're like, they don't know, but it's supposed to be. You know, they it can also be worse for you. It, you never know. Who knows? Why did you pick this up in the first place? I don't know. I want you to stop smoking everything. There should be like no, no smoke, no, no vape, no, no puff, no, like there is no reason to inhale a foreign substance into your lungs. That is what I want for Michelle Hammer. I think you'd be happier. Why? Because you are kind of a health nut. It it always kind of surprised me that you were willing to do this anyway. I mean, you once walked up a hundred flights of stairs. You were in lacrosse magazine. This is how serious you take your physical health. And then you're just like, carcinogens good. Like, what's up with that? Like, this does not fit your personality. So it also makes me worry about you on a mental health level. I Yeah, I think it's more mental than it is physical. So the first thing that I would suggest is addressing why you need this crutch. Because I think you very much use it as a crutch because whenever we're doing like a lot of work and there's a lot of stress and there's people around us and you, you start puffing on that thing like nothing. Yeah, I think right. this is your banky. You're a little bit right about that one, sugar. You are Linus, and that thing you're sucking on is that blue blanket. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Hit the nail on the head, why don't you? I want you to say, Gabe, you're right. Mm, not going to say that. Say thanks for looking out for me. Uh... 
Brains. This awkward silence is brought to you by Michelle not wanting to admit that she was wrong and Gabe not letting it go. She also just puffed on her vape pen and blew it in my face. <laughs> Which is impressive because she's in New York. <laughs> That's so mean. That is so mean. Let's switch gears for a moment and talk about some New Year's resolutions that would help our mental health. And we don't want to spend a lot of time on them. We just kind of want to put them in people's heads because people tend to think about like big things like saving more money or losing weight or stop smoking or stop drinking Diet Coke or stay away from junk food. But what about little things that we can do? And the biggest example I have and, and one that, you know, we really do promote a lot on this show. What about making amends with somebody? What about, you know, pulling out like a card, you can buy one for a dollar at Wally World, and writing a note to somebody that says, look, I'm sorry that I hurt your feelings, I was wrong, and mailing it off. Like, do you think that could be like a powerful New Year's resolution? It could be, but I know I personally would never do such a thing. But why? Why would you never do it? Because I know you, Michelle. I mean, we're, we're friends and we've worked together for a long time and you do have regrets. There are people that you feel badly for the way that you treated them. What would be so hard about just writing, you know, I'm really sorry for the way that I treated you and I hope you're okay. Sincerely, Michelle. And dropping it in the mail. The, the whole thing would cost you like two bucks in 20 minutes. I, I don't think there's anyone I really need to do that to. What about a thank you note? What about a thank you note to somebody that's no longer in your life? What about like, you know, I'm, I'm going to use your lacrosse coach because you talk about her all the time. What about dropping her a note? Just say, you know, thanks for looking out for me when I was in college. Because of you, I'm a better person. I speak with her still. It's not like I don't talk to her. Have you ever thanked her? Yes. What about your mom? You ever thanked her? Probably. Probably. <laughs> That was the, like, like for real, every single person that heard that probably was like bullshit. Like, like seriously, like, like all 20,000 of our listeners all said bullshit at the exact same time. There is not a person within the sound of your voice and it's recorded. So they're like backing it up, listening to it again and saying bullshit again that believe that you won't even thank your mom on this show. She's not even here. Thank your mom. Thank you, mom. Because of you, I am alive. She didn't do anything else for you? I mean, I think that's a lot. I mean, you know, birth and all. She also cooks. I mean, it was pretty easy to make you, I'm just saying. Wow. That's not how I've heard the story. Oh, what? (laughs) What? (laughs) There was a there was a Dodge Charger and a and and a and a parking space in, in rural Pennsylvania. There, there was, what? yeah, it was, it was, it was a mess. It was a mess. I, I was not conceived in love. I, I was conceived in some sort of like cold, lusty Valentine's day in 1970. It was a mess. It was just a mess. That's really hot, Gabe. Tell me more. That's one of those pre-recorded ones that Adam just stuck in. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle, what are some easy New Year's resolutions that anybody can do that will have lasting improvements on our mental health? And that, that's, that's relatively simple. How about being more open with your therapist? That would be a good one. I'm, I mean, don't you think that you've ever been a little or quiet with your therapist on certain topics? Maybe there are things you don't talk about, even though you know you're supposed to talk about the things you don't want to talk about. I completely agree. What about writing a nice note on your mirror every morning for you to see when you get home? Something like, you're a good person. I like you. You did great today. You're awesome. Don't forget to listen to a bipolar schizophrenic in a podcast. You know, stuff like that. What about, I mean, they're they're daily affirmations. A note for yourself? Yeah, like write it in the morning and that way when you get home from, you know, work or school or or the activities of the day, you see it on the mirror. Like in your bathroom. Yeah, but I have a roommate. Okay, well that one would be creepy. I mean, he might think that you're hitting on him. I know, that would be like really weird. So that only works if you have your own bathroom. But you can also write it on a calendar. You can also write it, you can send an email to yourself every day. You can use like Gmail has a scheduling feature. So you can you can schedule an email to just automatically send it to you later. Or just literally just write it on a calendar. Go buy one of those paper calendars and every day at the end of the day, write a note about something that you did well. It forces you to think about why you're a good person. That would be an easy New Year's resolution. To write myself notes. Positive affirmations. To write a positive affirmation about yourself or your day. Okay. Okay. 
but it's easy. It's not hard. I mean, I that's a lot of a lot of notes. I don't need to be writing myself all these notes. I don't need to look. I didn't say that. write yourself a love letter. I said write a sentence. You oh, can't come up with one positive why sentence do I every to, day. Why do I need to write one positive sentence every day? I don't. I don't need that in my life. You don't need to hear one positive thing every day about Michelle. I, I hear it from other people. Really? Yeah. People are just following you around, complimenting all you? All the time. All the time. Wow. My Instagram comments. Is this in your heart, head? Heart, 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 heart. Mm. All of my mm. Instagram, heart, heart. Yes, we all know that social media is the best place to get positive affirmations. Well, like it's, just... you know, better than my, my mirror for my roommate who put up positive things about himself. And I thought they were mine. Just kidding. If he starts doing it, we know he listens to the show. Oh my God, they'd be so funny. Gabe? Yes. All in all... Do you just not like New Year's resolutions? I think the New Year's resolutions are kind of a trap, but I think that they can be made to work for us because if it makes us think, hey, I need to do something nice for myself and I'm going to take positive steps to make it work, I think it can be a very positive thing. But I also think it's kind of sad that we only want to make ourselves better once a year. I mean, why do we only have New Year's resolutions? What about trying to make ourselves better in February or March or April or November or... I don't know, some other month I can't think of right now. Why do we only want to be better? We start thinking about it two weeks in December, and then we fail miserably in January, and then we beat ourselves up the rest of the year. And I think that that's kind of nonsense. And I think there's a lot of data that says that, one, we reach way too high, and two, we don't have a plan. I sincerely hope that you get up at 10 a.m. every day, Michelle, and I do think that you can do it. But I don't think you'll do it if you don't have a plan. And I think that I can drink less Diet Coke, but I don't think that I'll do it without a plan. And my New Year's resolution for you is for you to get up earlier because I think you waste a lot of the day and that you don't get a lot of stuff done, like really valuable stuff, valuable stuff for you, valuable stuff for the podcast, valuable stuff for the mental health community. And it does kind of bum me out that you sleep the day away, but I've practiced radical acceptance. And I know that that's none of my business. Yep. You should totally subscribe to that service where they call you, though. Mm -hmm. Mama Hammer, if you're listening, I give you permission to call your daughter every morning at 10 a.m. to wake her up. It is her New Year's resolution, and we want to put her in a position to succeed. Michelle, what are you going to say at 10 a.m. every morning when your mom calls? It's not 10 o'clock yet. Honey, it's 10. It is. It's totally 10. You're lying. No, I'm not lying. It's five more minutes. No, it's not five more minutes. I don't want to get up. You can do it. Gabe believes in you. No. That's true. He thinks you're going to fail. Uh, don't you want to get up to prove him wrong? No. Really? You want Gabe to be right? I don't care. You know what happens when Gabe's right? He never lets it go. Who cares? You should get up. I sleeps. Oh. Me sleep. Wow. Even from this vantage point now, you have already described failure. You did not even describe your New Year's resolution as a success. I asked you five different times and gave you every opportunity to succeed in your mind. Even in your dream, you could not succeed. I see great things. Thank you, everybody, for listening to this week's episode of Bipolar, a Schizophrenic, and a Podcast. We hope that you have a great 2019. If you make no other New Year's resolutions, go to store.psychcentral.com and resolve to buy a shirt to support the podcast. Define normal. We don't want you to do it. We do want you to wear the shirt. Thank you, everybody, and we will see you next week. Happy 2019! You've been listening to a Bipolar, a Schizophrenic, and a Podcast. If you love this episode, don't keep it to yourself. Head over to iTunes or your preferred podcast app to subscribe, rate, and review. To work with Gabe, go to GabeHoward.com. To work with Michelle, go to Schizophrenic.nyc. For free mental health resources and online support groups, head over to PsychCentral.com. The show's official website is PsychCentral.com slash BSP. You can email us at show at PsychCentral.com. Thank you for listening and share widely.